Hey there, Kid Zone and TIL Lit. Glad you're tuning in with us today. I will be talking today about what is true love. This was our last Sunday lesson, and the children enjoyed it a lot. So we decided to share this with you. Do you want to know what true love is? Jesus is the ultimate example of love. He gave his life for us. Because of that, we know what we should listen to his word and follow them. We want to share his love with one another, even when it's difficult. First John says, we love because he first loved us. You know, there's something I've been noticing around lately, Bree. I don't know if you've seen it, but there's sure a lot of hearts, shaped and love-related items in stores this month. Yes. I think it has something to do with that whole Valentine's thing. I want to say I'm kind of over it. I mean, look, it's one thing with these cute little cards, these cute little chocolate hard candies, and oh, let's not forget these conversational hearts with the weird phrases all over them. Does anyone actually even eat those? And there's these other heart-shaped candies, too. It's everywhere. Do people even realize that that's not the actual shape of your heart? It's actually two hearts put together. I doubt it. This is out of control. Oh, and don't even get me started on the whole mushy love is in the air idea. It's on commercials, posters, and in songs. Not just on Valentine's Day, either. The Hallmark Channel has it year-round. As it should be, because love should be year-round. We should love all the time, and not just that one commercialized day in February the 14th. Love should be shared all the time. I agree. It's true. There's love you have for your friends, love for your family. I love my family. And love for your pets. I'm one of those. I was a pet lover. I had a dog I loved unconditionally until she died. Mm -hmm. Even love for peace of some people or sports. I love shot put. Shot put? What's shot put? It's a field event where you throw a weight that's in the shape of a ball. Right. That heavy ball where they put, ooh, you have a strong love. God views love as a very important thing in our lives. Jesus talks a lot about it and how we need to love one another. We love because he first loved us. Did you know that if you have been fighting or arguing with someone before you go to the house of the Lord, that you should make peace before you come? Yes, ma'am. I learned that, uh, in Sunday school. I learned that if you come to church, you should be in good spirit and not be upset when you've been in a disagreement with someone. God said that if you were fighting with someone, you need to make peace before you go to church. Friendship and conflict resolutions are so significant to God that he wants us to take care of arguments in order to worship him. In one of his sermons, Jesus spoke about our hard intentions. He said that hating someone was as bad as killing them. Wow, that's pretty serious. I mean, I certainly never murdered anyone, but to think that hating them is just as bad, I just can't imagine. I know, but it's true. See, Jesus wants us to be genuine. We can't just say we love God and then treat others any kind of way. If we want to demonstrate his love, we do it by being kind to others. And it isn't always easy. Jesus also wants us to love people who are not nice to us, even some that we consider our enemies. That's a big challenge. Being nice to our enemies, how can we even do that? The truth is that it's not easy to do on your own. You got that right. But with God's help, anything is possible. Even if you don't feel like praying for them, you can ask God to help you pray for them. Yes, ma'am. God love is the very best kind of love. It's called unconditional love because he loves us no matter what we do, even if we don't love him back. He still cares for each and every one of us. He loves us so much that he sent Jesus to die for us. That's what love looks like. We can take comfort in hoping that God will help us when we ask. I really needed that message. There are some people that don't like me, but now my goal is to pray for them, to have love for everyone. This concludes our lesson on what true love is. I hope you enjoyed it and got something from it. Now let's pray. Dear God, 
Help us to understand what love means. Help us to practice it with others around us, even when it's difficult and even when we don't feel like it. You are so amazing. Thank you for the love of Jesus. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Until next time, Kid Zone and TIL Lit. Bye. Bye.